on everybody's uh, Homebrew Wednesday videos and Bucket Fridays and 24 Hours Tuesdays. I thought it's about time for me to throw my two cents in there. Uh, sitting in the garage on a beautiful Texas day right now, sipping on a Homebrew Irish Red. And uh, thought I'd take y'all through a little walk through my daily, uh, my daily little regimen of uh, home brewing. <laughs> not too, uh, not too used to seeing myself in the camera and having the thing pointed at me. So uh, you'll probably get most of this uh, through the first eye and not through looking at me. But uh, hey, we'll see what happens. Cheers, everybody. Right now we're waiting on the uh, strike water to heat up for my brew day today. Today I am brewing the uh, third iteration of my Sci-Fi IPA. A little bit of Pale Mall Munich Caramel, nothing too fancy for an IPA. Uh, but uh, trying out a little bit different hop build. Call it the Sci-Fi IPA because we got some somewhat space themed hops going on there. Bittering with some Apollo. Got some flavor from uh, Challenger and Galaxy. The thing we're changing up this time is I'm going to be adding Equinox had a local beer they do a uh, single hop IPAs and such like that and uh, really liked uh, really liked the taste of the Equinox thought it would really complement what I had going right now so picked up a few ounces thought we'd see what would happen there got Wally Feck on the TV right now while we're brewing so uh, jump back in once I'm actually mashing in to say I have a, a rudimentary system would kind of be an understatement. Right now I just uh, getting the sparge water into the mash tun through a nice old gravity and then we'll be mashing in here in just a second. Alright, well we're about ready to go in and I realized uh, just how difficult it is to uh, pour these nasty old grains in here on hand. The, uh, the troubles we go through just to get a little bit of video, right? So, we'll do this a little bit at a time here. Using my new mash paddle that my wife got me for my birthday last weekend. Fun trivia fact. Uh, me and uh, old Nate over at Under the Table Brewing. Not only do we share our first names in common, but it turns out we share the same birthday. So, uh, thought that was pretty funny. Oh, right, that looks pretty mixed in. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and just uh, do this off camera real quick. Y'all get the gist. You know what a you know what doing in looks like. You've seen it before. Okay, you guys make this uh, brewing and videoing at the same time look way too easy. Stress me out enough that I uh, emptied my glass. Let's see if I can actually pour one. The camera in the hand. This is just a uh, basic blonde homebrew, nothing fancy. As a matter of fact, I called it base blonde because I was going to split it up in about three or four batches and put some fruit in it. Then we got the good idea to move and uh, yeah that didn't happen. Clarity's okay it's only been in the keg for oh I don't know less than a week or so but uh, yeah just mashed in looking good a little bit lower than I wanted to so I heated up some water real quick. Uh, but we're uh, we're sitting good at about 148, 149 right now, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll jump back in around the boil. All right, it's gotten much darker since last time we checked in. Gonna check on this mash here, see how our temperatures do. Put one thermometer in because I don't trust just one. Let's see if you guys can see that. Barely. It looks like we're about on target. Right around, uh, I don't think it said like 147, which is a little low, but let's see. This little turkey thing says right below 150, which is good enough for me. I'm not picky. I'm not one to sit here and stress out about this right now, especially not with all the crappy thermometers I have. I do not have a good one. 
Should be my next purchase though. All right, there's that. All right, we are almost to the boil. Didn't do very well at boil on me, I guess. I'm not used to seeing this much protein on top. A little bit more than usual, but whatever. Give you a preview of the hops of the oh, of the health farms that like IPA, this. but I wasn't really in the mood for another at the time. I wasn't. So, oh shit, can't see it. Well, we've got uh, one ounce of Apollo for a bittering. Nothing until we got 15 minutes. We're gonna do a pound of sugar. Got a World Flock tablet. A little bit of yeast nutrient in there. Then comes the fun. Got uh, one ounce of Galaxy. One ounce of Challenger, one ounce of Equinox, and then I'm going to do a Flame Out Whirlpool, whatever, with the same, same hot bill. Alright. Well, the wind is fighting me like crazy, so it's kind of hard to uh, maintain the boil, even though my flame's looking pretty crazy right now. So I'm not going to push it anymore, but here we go. Four ounce of Apollo for 60 minutes. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, didn't get, wasn't very patient with my Vorloff, and uh, I think I got a little bit too many hot, or I mean, uh, green proteins or whatever, and the boil, and as I was coming to a boil, I noticed, uh, gosh, it was, it was looking really thick and sludgy at the top, so I decided to grab the little, uh, you know, the little strainer for the uh, funnel. Decided to pull off some of that gunk. And goodness gracious, that is gross. That is a lot, a lot of gunk. A lot of solids that, uh, well, I don't really want that in my beer. So, I pulled it out. Yes. Alright, time for the 10 minute drop. We've got. Let's see, there's one ounce of Challenger. Oh, missed it. Well, whatever, going in. And we're gonna do one ounce of Equinox. Super awesome, dinky Equinox. There is it. And one ounce, beautiful, tropical, passion free galaxy. Well, didn't get a ton of footage, but uh, brew day went pretty well. Got everything wrapped up about midnight last night. Uh, hit the numbers pretty well. Not exactly perfect. 1069 instead of 1071. And uh, a little bit low on my volume this time. Shooting for about five and a half into the fermenter. Got probably just under uh, five and a quarter, but whatever. It works. Uh, here in Texas, the groundwater is not too cool, so I uh, went ahead and put it in the uh, fermentation chamber. Sat overnight to get down to temperature. Pitched this morning right around 63, 64 degrees. We'll let it hang out there for a while, then I'll let it rise up to about 68, 70 to clean out. Uh, but yeah, overall pretty good brew day. Uh, you'll have to excuse some of the awkwardness in the videos. It's definitely still getting used to having this thing pointed at me, but hey, that's what it's all about, right? Uh, yeah, that's all I got for you this week. Uh, see, uh, see if I can contribute to some of the other days, but right now I'm going to stick with uh, <laughs> one video a week, see how we can go. Uh, other than that, enjoy your week. Happy home brewing. Cheers.